Hello. Today is Saturday, March 20th, 2021 at 6.31 a.m. I heard it's the first day of spring. I just thought I just felt what felt like a raindrop on my, um, on the top of the right side of my eyebrow. So, um... I suffered last night with it being too cold, and I'm surprised that I got um, about an hour and a half to two hours of sleep. I thought I was going to get no sleep, so it's too cold for me to even sit around outside. It's, It's too cold for me to even sit around outside, and um... Oh, I got to get away from where the traffic is. Um, so, I, I, I guarantee, last night was a night that I guarantee you that if the weather was in the late 60s last, if it was in the late 60s last night, I would have gotten much better sleep. Oh, man. I survived through the cold torture last night, you know, so it's like certain targeted individuals, as I said before, that they act like as if they grant, as if like they grant the, um, as if they think it's something that they're supposed to do. They think it's something that they're supposed to do to grant these satanic perps authority over their lives and insinuate that the perps have a right to make a living. but um, Or that they have a right to gang stalk us. But I really feel like those are fake T.I. perps who say that that um defend the gang stalkers and stuff like that um so i have to walk kind of further away just to get away from the traffic and walk a longer distance so (coughs) excuse me it's like so it's like some, t- even real targets feel like a lot of them are, are the fakes who do that. But some of the real ones, oh, some of the real ones, um, you know, even act like as if it's su- that that they're supposed to allow the perps to um, exercise con- fake control and fake authority and rulership over them. But then, you know, they have the other set of targeted individuals who fight tooth and nail. You know, they try whatever they can to fight back. You know, how the hell are you supposed to fight back, but then you're supposed to ignore everything? How the hell are you supposed to ignore losing your job the way I did? I mean, if I would have (laughs) ignored... The police, I mean, the Escambia County Sheriff's Office and the manager, you know, trying to eliminate me. I would have still been working there if I can, if I could ignore that, you know. And yeah, I'm going to keep bringing it up. I'm not shutting up. I'm not going to be quiet, you know. So everybody coming on my page telling me ignore this, ignore that and focus on this and focus on that and worry about this and worry about that. Go fuck yourselves. Like, y'all some narcissistic abusers trying to tell another person what to think. Don't tell me what to think. Don't tell me what to worry about. Don't tell me how to spend my money. You know, so... Everybody act like they think they have the authority and the right to dictate other people's lives. What the Bible says, being wise in their own conceits. But, you know, they don't have any biblical wisdom themselves. You know, trying to, and and people who don't even acknowledge God trying to dictate and control another person's life. 
Like, if I'm supposed to do what you satanic gang stalkers say, then I'm setting myself up for hell. This is a spiritual battle, a spiritual war. Like, how, how an ungodly person who, you know, somebody who does not acknowledge God, who think they have more wisdom than you. You know, they think they have more wisdom and knowledge than you have. And um, they think that they're smart with, you know, negotiations and business, this Masonic negotiations and business. And, uh, you know, it's like just because you are a manager or a CEO of a certain company does not make you better. Just because you're a doctor or a lawyer or a police officer or even <laughs> the president of the United States does not mean you're going to heaven. So, you know. Yesterday, I felt, I, I mean, even this morning, I woke up with a little bit of sleep that I had. I woke up just feeling so depressed and uh, f feeling so depressed and stuff. Well, they have so much, you know, targeting stuff that I can't document because sometimes a lot of stuff happens so fast. And then sometimes it would go over my head and I forget. But, um, you know, so some people self-righteously act like they only believe what they see. Or they feel like, oh, it's pointless or it don't make sense to document on something that you didn't film. You know, or I mean, I mean, for you to talk about something that you didn't film. Well, there are some unseen things that we go through with, with our targeting that we still talk about anyway. I mean, a lot of people on Twitter talk about. <coughs> you know, a lot of people on Twitter talk about. Um, you know, their experience, outspoken about their experiences, whether real or fake. Excuse me. And it's like the hate against me gets stronger and stronger every day. The house with the at the third floor with the light on, they just turned it on right when I approached. I guess they must be letting me know that they hear me. Or yeah. <clears throat> but at the mall the other day, when I couldn't find any shoes that I liked. Um, well, I guess it was better that I got the shoes <clears throat> from where I got them from and while I was still in a hotel. That way it was easy for me to take the other pairs <clears throat> back to the, um, you know, back back to the my storage unit. So I was able to take them back to my storage unit rather than if I went to get them at the mall and then I had to just walk around and carry them everywhere. But I'm not wearing the Nike shoes. I'm wearing the, and I'm not wearing the Reeboks, the old Reeboks either. The old Reeboks I said I was going to save, you know, for next winter if I'm out on the streets. Hope not. I mean, all this time, come on, something needs to be done. But I've, I've tried what I could to get permanent housing and the perps block that too. Like they block my attempts at trying to get permanent low income, not, I mean, with a low income housing as well, but you know, when open, when I was trying to get opening doors and Catholic charities to help me. So I did what I could, you know, so I don't know if I should move and leave Pensacola. I don't want to leave the state of Florida, but you know, um, I, I it's like I already feel like what I went through last night was too unbearable cold, and and it's like I could not get warm or comfortable. It's supposed to be a little colder tonight than last night. Then Monday is supposed to be in the fifth early fifties, which is still too cold, and then. Monday night, I mean, Sunday is supposed to be in the 
50s, 53, and then Monday is supposed to be 59, and then it's supposed to be warmer. Um, <clears throat> next week it's supposed to be warmer, and um, oh, that perp was sitting now, sitting there. For a long time at the stoplight, and now they look like they're coming with their LED lights. <laughs> Do all perps have these LED lights, or is it just, um, or, or is it just, or, or is it just uh, depending on the car you have? I mean, it, it's amazing in a bad way how these demonic perps can succeed at holding me back from just basic living. And then the the perps have made it clear that I don't deserve to live unless, I mean, I don't deserve to live like normal unless I sell my soul. Here's another perp who just turned on his ignition once I get by with this Penske truck. Yeah, the perps are everywhere. I'm like, how you knew I was going to walk down this street? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> me sniffling like this because the weather is very cold, <clears throat> and they just want to make noise, backing up, fake backing up on purpose. <clears throat> but y'all narcissistic perps, trying to tell me ignore this and ignore that and focus on this and focus, focus, focus on that, because it's not y'all trauma. It's not what y'all going through. It's not y'all situation. You try being get being homeless and then fighting for. Yeah, they doing that on purpose. Cause like, why you wait till I get by it and I'm in the middle of a video to do that? Do that. Yeah. So. Like, how are you supposed to ignore break-ins, sabotage, poisonings? Um, everybody turning against you, people trying to, uh, I mean, people treat you unfairly, set you up for murder. I mean, if you're a targeted individual, you're set up to be murdered. And then, you know, some of the popular fakes, they'd be, they'd be like, yeah, tar targeting is just, they just want to aggravate you. And get underneath your skin. Because if they would have wanted to kill you. They would have killed you a long time ago. But y'all don't know about satanic rituals. And um, you know. How they calculate. The perfect ritual sacrifice. That's sometimes why they wait around for so long. Is they waiting around for the perfect. Like ritual dates. And certain other ritual things. To set up the perfect sacrifice to make the highest money off of you. So, I heard that targeted individuals, the reason why the perps don't want to allow us to make any money, or they want us to have a small amount of income, so that um, the less money you make, that's the more money they can make off of you. You know, it's okay for them to get money the crooked way. But then they'll try to fake defend themselves and say that they got this good and that good by honest hard work. You know, so. And it's like, I'm emotionally hypersensitive. And it's like everything, I mean, I know a lot of stuff bothers me. And gets underneath my skin. You know. It's a, and it's like. People don't even care. They just yell at me and say ignore. 
you know, and then the real target individuals, they copying off of what the popular fakes do because they want to, people like to gravitate towards who's popular. <clears throat> I'm like, well, how are you going to tell me ignore the gang stalking, but yet you report yours? You, you know, when I say something, oh, ignore, but then y'all not ignoring y'all gang stalking. It's <clears throat> like, so can't get any support. Well, one day, I mean, a few days ago, I forgot to document um, when I went to the mall just browsing around for shoes before our stimulus check came. I think it was Monday. And they had this one of those shoe s sneaker stores that had um th the sneaker store had a whole bunch of um red shoes clustered up in like different styles of red shoes in one area and I was just trying to look at the different shoes and then they had these young white male um perks <clears throat> it seemed like as if they blocked me and cut in front of me just to um, go fiddle with and look at, act like as if they're looking at nothing but the red shoes only. And then um, they went, you know, out of the store. And I'm like, wow, wow I wish I would have had that on film. But it's like, Tell me, would you ignore an attempt for somebody to try to hit you with their car on purpose, but then they block you from getting a car, access to a car, and they block you from driving and trying to make it like you're such a dangerous person? I mean, narcissistic abusers who wreck, who drive reckless and get into car wrecks, and they get, I mean, they arrogantly brag and boast about how they can drive on a suspended license and then turn around and tell me that I have no business driving. You know, I never had a, you know, suspended license. Never. So, they purposely drive reckless and make you feel unsafe in the car. And, you know, you, you turn around and say that you driving on a suspended license and then turn around and tell me I have no business driving. I should never, ever drive. Well, you're the one with the suspended license. But I can't believe how strangers with no authority over me can have so much power and rulership over me. You know. And it's so like I didn't realize there were gang stalkers when I had a car. Back then it seemed like all these narcissistic perps who use and take advantage and act like they think they own my car they would um act like they think they have the authority to confiscate my car keys and treat me like I'm not fit to drive I'm like well bitch I, I, I should have been smart enough to say bitch go drive your own damn car why the hell you feel the need to drive mine you know, and then if I'm driving, they do stuff on purpose to set me up to wreck and then ignorantly laugh and think it's funny. Y you know, so I heard it's a satanic ritual thing that the narcissistic perps who are, you know, associated with Masonic organizations or do witchcraft. <coughs> I heard about the... Um, vortex and ley lines for the perfect ritual sacrifice so it seems like they trying to hope they can get you to get killed but who are you to think you're not God who are you to th I mean y'all should humble yourselves I mean and then you know these narcissistic perps that ignorantly laugh and, and say that, you know, everything, every word that comes out of my mouth is crazy talk. That makes no sense. Well, why are you obsessively watching my videos? I mean, somebody who knows nothing about me come and watch my, I mean, come and comment on one of my videos yesterday and try to make remarks about me being an unemployable wreck. 
maybe that person must have been sent from the fusion centers or somewhere to come and perp me with that comment you know y'all um perp comments on y'all narcissistic perp comments on my channel does not prosper because i report and delete all of them you know i report and remove all of them i report all y'all for bullying and harassment because i don't go around bullying anybody i'm the one who you know i'm the innocent person being surveilled and um you know nobody said like when random perp strangers walk up to me and take a picture of me for no reason <clears throat> but i don't y'all making like i don't have a right to record the perps <clears throat> it seems like the perps make it feel make it like as if i don't deserve to live at all until or unless i sell my soul and then they, that's the thing like they make it like as if they weren't having it for me to try to get a place to live or for me to try to get a um job and then they make it like oh once you sell your soul then you can have these things no i mean like they want me to be corrupt but then they can they try to make it like i mean they're corrupt and reprobate but then they condemn me about oh you know they try to condemn me about um you know oh she's a foul mouth or she cursed so much she called people names in her videos when they when they gossiping about me and it's like they do the same thing that they get condemned me for you know and, and at this point i don't even think any, many people are ignorant to gang stalking nowadays i think i'm not gonna say everybody but so many even pe a lot of people know about it you know, or they play it off like they don't know about gang stalking, but they know that they know exactly what the hell they're doing, and they think that shit is funny. They really think it's funny, you, you know. Like I'm not allowed. They, I mean, these wicked demon, demonic people who act like they think that they have the authority and the right to try to police and control how I should live, and and it's like. All y'all can't be God. There's only one God higher than every human being. <clears throat> Excuse me. All y'all can't be God. So, I mean, they act like they think they have the authority to run me off the internet, period, all social media. Because I get punished for doing the same thing that normal people do. And then y'all call me crazy. But don't con hypocritically condemn me for the same thing y'all do. But then y'all try to falsely accuse me of being a, you know, a hypocrite and stuff like that. Oh, look at her. She goes around filming stra innocent strangers. No, those are perps who, those are perps who harass me. I'm not going to film an innocent stranger who does me nothing. You know, learn these perp tactics and then you'll realize these people aren't innocent. But they, they're like, oh, how, how, how does she like it? How, how do you like it that, um... You don't like people filming you, but you film people. No, it's the other way around. The perps don't like to be filmed, but they film people. They spray us up. They gas us. They vi they vibrated the shit out of my body all night long last night and kept me sleep de for sleep deprived and kept me awake. And, you know, it's like I'm trying as hard as I can to fight against their attempts to try to they're, they're, they're trying very hard to try to get me to commit suicide. They don't want me on this earth. And they don't have that authority or power. And, you know, that Citizens AHT website said that, you know, that the perps run targeted individuals off the earth, literally. And that's the quote from, you know, one, one of the quotes from their website. So... I'm too tired to even get to take the three. And I'm too tired and it's too cold for me to get to take the three hour walk that I wanted to take. Um, you know, it's like I feel so robbed. I feel very robbed. And. You know, 
it's like other professed target individuals, they don't even care about each other. And nobody's really there for each other. Everybody's out for themselves. And there is no community. Now I see what people say, what what target individual community? There, there is no community. You're damn sure right. It's only the fake T.I. perp cult. <laughs> only they are allowed to speak over exaggerated, false, um, fake whatever experiences about non-existent targeting experiences you know while we showing the truth and telling the truth and they try to silence us you know i'm gonna keep fighting i'm gonna keep fighting you know and, and it's like as i said even certain real targeted individuals have more privileges than i do i don't know why i'm I, why i'm the most ultimate hated i don't understand why So, thanks for listening for now. I'll see y'all later. I'm not shutting up.